YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here is about some girl basically going into a gas station and out of all things she decides to do, she decides to steal not one candy bar, not two, three, four, five candy bars, but 15 to 20 dollar worth of candy. And that's a lot of damn candy. Now, I don't know about you, but you know, a lot of people have stole when they have went to school. You all might be laughing or whatnot, but I'm sure I'm talking to somebody that shit probably still steal right now. But, you know, as for myself, I know when we used to go to school sometime when I was younger, you know, ain't always been perfect. I'm not perfect now, but I don't steal now. But then, of course, if we wanted something, we would take it. That's just the truth. And I know a lot of you all laughing about it or whatnot. But this situation right here is totally different because one thing about us, at least when we went in the stores, uh, the little gas stations, and, and uh, stole some candy or some drinks or whatever, at least we had enough sense to get away. Not Baby D. And I don't know if you all know who Baby D is. This is Baby D from uh, Friday with uh, Craig, uh, Smokey, and all of them. This is the lady of rage before she grew up, you know. But anyway, so basically, you would think that Big girl got it covered. Like, okay, she can go up there. She can handle her business. She can do what she got to do. Because one thing about it, if uh, you don't hustle, you don't eat. Just like they say, if a man don't work, a man don't eat. If a big girl don't hustle, a big girl don't eat. Now, she's there with her friend, you know, a little smaller, little smaller female. Notice, uh, she didn't steal nothing. She bought hers. But big girl decided she want to keep that $5. And she took that $5 of school and probably bought her a damn hot dog, a hamburger, or something like that. And realizing, oh, she ain't going to have nothing when school's out. Now, I don't know if she was going to school or if she was leaving school when this incident took place. But the main thing about it, she looked very suspect anyway. I mean, she looks guilty even if she wasn't doing shit. I mean, the guy would have called her up there to the damn counter and asked her what was going on even if she wasn't stealing. But due to the fact that she decided to be greedy as we, as some of us call fat-faced. And if you don't know what fat-faced means, not talking about your face being fat. Even though her face is kind of, uh, you know, healthy looking. But... Uh, fat faces mean you got big eyes. Big eyes doesn't mean you got cock eye or nothing like that. It just means that you're a very greedy type person and you don't know when to say when. But at the same time, now maybe she would have got away with the whole thing, you know, and also it's a lesson to her. Leave people shit alone. That's the main thing. Because if you're going to do something, at least be smart enough to try to get away with it. Don't get yourself embarrassed and get put all on damn uh, social media for stealing these folks stuff. And you know she was planning that stuff out the night before. She had a whole list wrote down what she going to get. She going to get the new Sweet Tart. She going to get the new Susie Q. She going to get the new uh, Boston Baked Beans. She going to get the new... Uh, Debbie cakes, you know, especially the oatmeal kind, the fudge round kind, and also those damn uh, sweet ass damn gummy bears. You can't, you can't, you can't miss them. And also airheads if they still have those available. So she was making her list and she was checking it twice, trying to find out, uh, you know, if she could afford the price, if if you will. So I don't understand. First of all, when you got caught, why you just round the damn store? You know, I guess she figured, hell, they shooting everybody else running out of stores, so she might as well come up to the counter. She must have watched one of Trey's video, like the incident that happened in Memphis with the guy that was basically allegedly, allegedly now, stealing a can of beer from this guy, and this guy uh, ran them out the store following him and shot him in the back and the guy later on died now i don't know if she watched the video she said the hell with that you know what i'm saying i'm gonna take trey's advice i'm not gonna run but i'm just gonna go ahead and turn this stuff in but you know if she would have ran no telling how that would have happened she probably wouldn't have got far any damn way but on the real though you know i know parents you send your children to school you give them money you give them things that they need to make it throughout the day you know because you know your children gonna want a snack of course if you don't be in school you know you know you're gonna want to uh eat a bag of chips or a candy bar or something but one thing about it though it's one thing to sit up here and ask for something even though she couldn't went to the store and ask for it that's not the place to ask for it but you know, why sit up here and steal a whole bag worth of candy? I mean, that's why she's big right now, because you're stealing too damn much. You got the fat face. Now, I remember when we was young, and we used to go to the gas stations or whatnot. You know, we had like a couple of us that could steal our ass off. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest with you. This is when I was a kid. This this is not no grown person talk. This is when I was in damn middle school and, and, and stuff like that. Well, yeah, middle school. It went down in middle school. Anyway, so, you know, we had like uh, out of a crew of us, like 15, 25 guys, three of us was the best. I was one of the best. You know what I'm saying? I had two other guys. I ain't going to get their names out because I ain't going to be uh, dropping no dimes. You know what I'm saying? AKA snitching on my pad 
as uh uh crime partners if you will so anyway we'll be the main ones to go in the store and do what we got to do because we knew if we send somebody else you know what i'm saying they would mess up the whole operation then the whole operation would fall just like new jack city the carter will fall you know what i'm saying if we let g money get out there and do what he have to do knowing g money can't swim yet that's a metaphor for those of you who know what that mean but anyway so we'll go to the store we'll do our thing and my main thing when i was young you know what i'm saying even though i'm not old now but my main thing when I was going to school, even though I don't eat them no more hardly, was those little debit cakes, those oatmeal and those fudge rounds. I mean, damn, them fudge rounds, them oatmeal meals would make you want to set it off like Queen Latifah back in 95. Those oatmeal cakes was like the nectar of God. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like a, um, it was like manna. If you know what manna is for my religious people in the Bible, it's like manna from up above. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't free. We had to go in there and get it. And the way we used to do it, yes, the way we used to do it, this is what we used to do. And I don't advise none of you all to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because it probably don't work no more. Uh, your, uh, your, your pants might not be made correctly or whatnot. I don't know. But what we used to do is uh, like unzip our zipper. We wouldn't pull our pants down the moon the store or nothing like that. Unzip the zipper and we used to uh, tie like a knot in the bottom of our pants leg. You know, like roll them up and cuff them. So that way, only thing you got to do is walk down the aisle and just throw the stuff <laughs> in your pants. You know, we did all kinds of stuff. And we would walk out of there looking like we got the uh, elephant legs or, or whatnot. You know how them big old people look on my 600-pound life? Uh, that's how we was looking, you know, a couple of us. Especially me. I walk out I got $30 stuff in one leg and I got forty dollars more in the other leg you know what i'm saying i got little debit cakes on one side and i got everything from lighter fluid to matches on the other side you know because when we leave the damn store whatever we, whatever we could uh consume we'll just sell to somebody in the hood or whatnot but i just want to share that with you all we all did we did all kinds of crazy things and thank god that we never got shot at now we done got chased about a couple stores before and most of them chinese stores and stuff they be watching you like a hawk up in there you know what i'm saying they be all up on you you know what i'm saying telling you to hurry up and buy you be like god damn i just came in here to steal something i ain't coming here to uh apply for no job or anything like that but like i said we was kids and as kids we do crazy things but anyway let i hope this be a lesson to the to this young female right here to let her know leave them people shit alone it's not worth your life because these it's not like it was when i was a when i was a child in um well, people would let you get away with things. People would kill you over the smallest things now, over beers and everything, and, and basically over nothing, even if you didn't do nothing. So to make a long story short, what she needs to do next time is just leave old folks stuff alone. Stop trying to be baby D and ask your parents for some money. If your parents don't want to give it to you, ask your grandma or somebody. Go do some hair for some money or something. Do somebody homework or something. Anything better than winding up all on social media stealing. And then you see that look on her face like she didn't do nothing wrong. Like, I, I don't have anything in here. He like opened a bag up. And she knowing her stuff down there. She just looking up sad like, damn, he's finna take my uh, food away. She was more uh, concerned about protecting the goodies she had than about her own safety. Like, what the hell is that? I would have threw that shit out that damn bag and haul ass out that store. I'm not finna talk to you. What the hell? What the hell? I mean, the only thing you can do is call the police. I'm gonna take your little stuff out this bag. That's what you want. And I'm gone. All this conversation is done with. I won't come back in here. And if I do, you won't be at work. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this situation. If you want to uh, come in and put up some of your past uh, devilish deeds, because I'm sure a lot of us, I'm not saying all of us, because all of us, uh, some of us always been an angel. Some of us always done walked a, walked a higher road. Some of us never resorted to anything and more power to you. But I'm going to tell you this, if it wasn't for the Lord, if it wasn't for the Lord saving me, I wouldn't have had now another chance. I wouldn't have had now another chance to get it right. I'm just glad that i was able to get it right and i'm able to sit here today and reminisce and tell these story because trust me you know a lot of people have lost their lives over lesser things so i hope this would be a lesson to her leave these people stuff alone those little 50 cent candies those dollar candies dollar 50 whatever chips whatever it's not worth your freedom or your life leave folks shit alone and just you know just go without it because trust me just like i thought when i was younger you know, I picture myself like this. Okay, uh, in my refrigerator, I want to have number Cokes in there and number Little Debbie Cakes. And as you get older, you know, I still drink Cokes, but hell, I don't eat Little Debbie Cakes. So you outgrow a lot of things. Some people never outgrow uh, these things because you see these same old people, you know what I'm saying, of all ethnicities hanging around these stores, just begging for quarters or going there getting caught stealing or whatnot. Some people never outgrow the childish bullshit. But hopefully she can outgrow this childish mess that she's in. And also, if you're going to be a crook, 
if you're going to be one, which I advise you not to, at least try to be a smart one. Don't just go up in a damn store blindfolded, half caught, because you never know how this situation could have turned out. You know damn well Abdullah was counting everything that you was picking up. He, he, was, he was writing it down. One thing, two things. Three things. That's why he knew how much she took. I mean, come on, let's be for real. You think these people are not watching you? But anyway, let me know what you think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share the video with your people who be still trying to steal out these damn stores. They're not 13 or 14 or 15 like this young lady is, but 25, 35, 40 years old. If you're still stealing at that age, you have a serious problem and you need to go get a damn J-O-B and she need to focus on school and focus on Jenny Craig. Anyway, y'all stay blessed. The next time, it's been real. Much love. I'm out.